Jared here, and I'm feeling a little bit better today than I did yesterday. Uh, still not well enough to go to the gym. Yesterday I mentioned that I was hoping today I could make it back there. That I'd be feeling well enough and energetic enough to go. And this morning I woke up and I still had, I was still coughing and still had a headache, a lot of sinus pressure. So I kind of figured I wasn't going to be able to go safely up there. I want to wait until I'm symptom free so I'm not up there spreading anything. So instead, today is Saturday. Said I went down to work. Uh, now I do, because I missed Monday. Now I have, I can use vacation if I wanted to cover that, but I'm kind of greedy for that. I like to use that to go on trips. I don't like to use it for sick days, which, I mean, like I said, I hadn't taken a sick day in like eight years, something like that. So instead I decided to make the time up. I have that luxury where I can go in. I had something to do, <clears throat> so I headed in today and worked. And, I was pretty much alone, there wasn't anybody there, so, and I was able to finish up something that I should have finished up Friday, and I would have had I worked the full week, but anyway, then I came home, and now I'm working a little bit on the computer, I got something that I've got to finish up and get turned in tonight, and it's already almost 7, so I don't think I'm going to be doing anything too exciting, uh, Lindsay's out walking, and I wasn't really neither feeling up to go on for a long walk and like I said I have some work that I need to get done on my pooter <sighs> so hopefully tomorrow I'll be back at, at least 90% close enough to where I can actually go work out I actually told her while she was out if she could pick me up a uh, pre-workout drink sometimes I take those when I'm have some low energy it's different than like say like a monster or a red bull or something like that that kind of stuff people just drink like casually like it's a soda or something now this is something that's got uh, a lot more kick to it and i would definitely not recommend it to take just like as an energy supplement nothing like that i would say purely unless you're into working out and even then probably only weightlifting. i imagine if you took this and then tried to run something like that because how your heart rate kind of gets up naturally from this it, uh, it might have some adverse effects. So after I rambled about that, I'm not going to actually tell you what <laughs> the pre-workout is because I don't want anybody doing it. I don't want to be responsible for somebody going out taking that and then their heart exploding. It is a really nice day out. It's not overly warm. I think it's just under 60 degrees. I really wish I was feeling better so I could get out there and start cleaning up my yard. And look at this. This really ticks me off. I completely had <clears throat> cleaned off my deck, excuse me, <clears throat> good lord, and we restained it, repainted it last year, and look at that, it's already peeling up, I don't, it's almost like somebody took a snow shovel or something was like shoveling off the deck, but uh, we didn't get a lot of snow this year, which is unusual, and nobody bothered to clean off the deck this year, so I'm not sure why this is all coming off, but that really makes me mad. I may end up just, I don't know for sure if I'm going to do it, but I may end up ripping this entire deck out and just rebuilding it from scratch. I've never been happy with it. It just sits on the ground. That's how it was since I moved in. And I'd really rather, you know, either dig some post holes and drive some posts in there and elevate the deck, or maybe even I'll get some of those. You ever see those, like, concrete blocks? Not like cinder blocks like I got underneath that broken up fire pit that I think I'm going to throw away because it looks tacky. Not like that, but they're, they're, they're shaped to hold boards to build a frame on. So maybe I'll do that, but I don't know how well that holds up in these northern climates where we get a lot of shifting from the ground freezing. So I don't know, but I got to get this thing rebuilt either this year or maybe I'll put it off one more year and do it next year. So I went back to the computer to finish up what I was working on and it was about seven o'clock and I thought I only had like a little bit more to go and it wouldn't take me long. It ended up taking me another two hours and now it's like quarter after nine <clears throat> and it's getting late and it's getting tired but I didn't want my entire day to be just go to work and then just work on what I was working on the computer and turn it in which by the way I don't know if you've ever had a situation where you've been working on something and then you kind of get tired of it and you know it's not completely done or it's not completely done right but you just turn it in or hand it in anyway and say I'm done with this 
I don't even care at this point. You get what you get. That's basically what happened at 9.15 for me. But anyway, I am now downstairs in my room and I want to work on some projects that I've had laying around for a while. I've got some new stuff that I want to do, but I do not want to start it or work on it until I finish up some of this old crap that I got laying around, like that wall upstairs and some of these props that I got down here in my room. I need to get these finished and out of here before I can start on my new thing that I'm thinking about, which is, it's interesting, it's going to be this little, like, puzzle type thing. And, yeah, maybe I'll even film my little prototype idea of it. It's going to be interesting. But that's not going to be today. Today, we need to finish up this deal. This has got to get out of here. It's taking up too much space. I need to finish it and then go and put it into storage. And then after he's done, I might finish <laughs> some of that stuff up there because I can't even use that bench. I completely filled it up with stuff. So what I'm going to be doing today, or for a little while today anyway, I'm not going to be able to get it finished, it'll take too long, and it's cold down here, good lord, is these are supposed to be, this whole project is supposed to be a guy on a table, or a corpse, uh, being choked, or surrounded, or killed by pumpkin vines. As you can see down there, I started trying to make like these little compartments that have pumpkin guts, and I put some pumpkins. And I've got some rotten pumpkins up there that are going to go on here. It's my little prop. So what I've done here is this is, I think it's called Creepy Cloth. I think you can get it at, I think I got this at the dollar store. I'm pretty sure it's where I got it. Uh, but you could use cheesecloth. Essentially this is what Creepy Cloth is. It's just cheesecloth with a different uh, hole density or just formed differently. Anyway. What I've done is I've cut it up and I've sort of made vines. Now to finish the vines, I'm going to take some latex and some acrylic paint, mix it together of the color of the vine, then I'll take my fingers and knead it into this and let it dry. I'm not going to show any of that process because my hands are going to get all nasty and these lights humming are annoying me. So I will just show, I guess what I'll do is I'll mix it up first, show you that, and then show you the progress I made. But I can tell you it'll turn out similar to this. Actually, it'll turn out exactly like this because that's what I did here for these pumpkin vines. Because I highly doubt that I'm going to be able to get this all done in one evening, it's really important that when I'm mixing this up that I pay very careful attention to my portions that I'm using so I can make up a second batch later. The other thing to keep in mind when you're doing something like this is look at all that. That latex is white so you have to go quite a few shades darker than what you intend the vine to look like in order to get the correct color. This is about what I should be using. Unfortunately I don't have very much of it left so I'm gonna have to kind of makeshift a color that I don't really want. I'm going to take this green and mix it with some black and hopefully it's an acceptable shade. Now, Normally it wouldn't be as big of a deal because after everything was dried you could always go down you could go back over it with a watered down brown or black paint over the vine and then kind of wipe it out and that would darken the vine a little bit and give it some you know depth. I don't really think that's going to be possible with it laying on this dude unless I end up deciding to take like a, a black or a brown and coat the whole thing and wipe it off so it'll sort of age it all a little bit more which might not be you know necessarily a bad thing but I, I don't know I don't know that I want to find out <laughs> but anyway let me get this all mixed up and then I'm going to go ahead and do as much of it as I can then I'll show you what I'm going to what it looks like when I'm done. The other thing is, is to get my portions on my acrylic paint. I got one of these little medicine cups. We have like 50 of these laying around the house. I got kind of a good news bad news scenario here. The good news is I was able to finish it all up tonight so I don't have to mix up a second batch of latex. The bad news 
is, well, I guess it's not a terrible color. It's not the color that I was going for. So what I'm gonna have to do is when it dries, I potentially may have to dry brush it, which is gonna be an absolute pain in the butt. The other thing that I have that happened, which I knew would, because just to the nature of what I was gonna have to do is pick this stuff up and rub it in, that I was gonna get paint on him, and I'm gonna have to go back through and touch that up as soon as this all dries. Uh, that shouldn't be a huge deal. And if I don't get it touched up completely, I've got a bunch of fake blood that's supposed to go on this guy anyway. It's like a real dark, glossy, very realistic looking blood. And then I put some, just some extra vines here on the table, which those will pop more tomorrow because this will dry and then the latex just kind of rolls right up and you'll be able to see the vine right there a lot better. But not bad. It's getting there. I think what I got to do. Man, what is it with you guys? What are you doing? Get out of here. You're going to fight. Go somewhere else. Angry cats. Well, it is going on 11 o'clock, and I've got to pick uh, green latex out of my fingernails and out of my hand hair. So I think I'm going to call it a night. Hopefully tomorrow I'm feeling completely better and I can go to the gym. I think I'm also going to try to film tomorrow. Think about doing this little personal challenge, see if I can film every day for at least a week. I think I've tried that before and failed after a couple of days, but I think I think I'm gonna get it this time. This is like two, three days in a row, something like that. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching.